Time for some more tips and tricks from yours truly, Rusty Blivens. Out here sourcing today, this is Rusty, and uh, look at this. I mean, this just, this is about the slimmest pickings I've seen in a Walmart in a very long time. Uh, what, what is going on? How to, how you do, cousins. As you're out there at, uh, at, at antique stores and estate sales, be on the lookout for wartime correspondence. This can be uh, really collectible uh, for some people. Some people will pay top dollar for this stuff. I've seen on eBay go, uh, you know, three, five dollars a letter. But uh, I this is uh, over 120 letters, paid ten dollars for it, and uh, hoping to get up to two hundred dollars for this. Uh, listen, if you guys want to watch a longer video where I break it down, what's inside these letters and what to look for when you're out sourcing, uh, come on over to the Rusty How To YouTube channel. Uh, we got a longer video there waiting. Check out stuff here at the Goodwill today. Barbie and a kayak, troll on a surfboard, little uh, box knife here, some sort of cool looking Asian deal here, a little thing here and a little bottle. Pretty awesome. Do not neglect Walmart's clearance section. Look at all the toys today. This is gonna be quite fun. Well guys, I just came out here uh, and bought this Boba Fett at Target. $12.99. You can sell these for around $20 $24 on eBay today. This is about the simplest example of retail arbitrage. That being, you buy something at retail store for retail price and then you turn around and sell it for more money on uh, some other platform. And for us, it's particularly eBay. 90% or more of what we sell is antiques and collectibles, but every once in a while, when you see something that you know you can turn a quick profit on and it's cool like this, we jump at it. Good luck hunting, guys. We'll across this little lot here of an old Minolta camera. This is the SR7, as you can see right here. Uh, really slick looking old 35 millimeter camera with a nice little leather carrying case. And it came with one, two, three, and even uh, a fourth one down in here someplace. Right here, it's inside here. It's a 55 millimeter lens. Uh, all this for $45. The camera itself is selling anywhere from 50 to $100. And each one of these lenses, uh, anywhere from 30 to $50 a piece. So I've even got an old a receipt here from the 60s. Someone who was in the military, the US Army, had this repaired when they were in Germany. So really cool, got this nice little case here with the key still. Nice $45 investment, I'll probably make about $200 on it. So uh, never be afraid to split these up, and in this case, I'm probably gonna sell them all together. Hey folks, it's Rusty here. Guys, sometimes it's hard to find stuff that's a good deal to resell, and if you ever come across that, or if maybe you just wanna change the pace, sometimes you gotta get creative with things that you buy to resell. This is something I was out at Dollar General today, wasn't finding the stuff I was looking for, but I did find a bunch of this Mandalorian, Star Wars themed stuff for um, look like little kids' birthday parties. And so what I did, since each of these was just a dollar or two dollars a piece, is I put a bunch of stuff together. Plates, napkins, a happy birthday banner, cups, forks, a tablecloth, balloons, and some ears. And then I'm going to sell this. I spent about $24. I'm going to try to sell this for $60 online for a kid's birthday party. That wasn't something that was just out there. I had to come up with the idea myself and, and you know, try to make it work. So good luck. Sometimes you got to be creative. It doesn't hurt to do something like this, save some people some time. They'll pay up for it. I promise you. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty Hair.